guys, thanks for watching the video. Scott here from Adrenaline Adventures and uh, I'm gonna be perch fishing on Lake Simcoe today with some friends. I anticipate that we're gonna have a lot of perch in the boat today. They brought in a couple hundred yesterday, so uh, it looks good today. We got three boats on the go or two boats today? We got three boats, three on, boats on the go. Uh, I don't think this is the way. Jay's got us. Jay's got us delayed again. Isn't it? We're going to be behind like three boats at the dock. It's, it's yeah, terrible. four boats at the dock. This is terrible. I passed it again. Yeah, it again. I was just following this clown here, man. Two days straight. <laughs> oh my God. He did that yesterday too. Yep. Oh man. Similar reaction. <laughs> Let me guess. Was he in the middle of a the story then? Could have been. I don't know. No, we're going to end up going to the highway. I think it was just dazed and confused. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, my God. Greatest thing since chicken wall. Water level's going to be going down in the lake after today, folks. Fish in there since I put it on there all day. There he is. That's a nice one, Scotty. Another nice one? Yeah, four pieces. Oh, look at There we go. Keeper. There he was, huh? Can I hit right there? Oh, what header? Look at that one. Canadian perch wizards. Nice. Bento minnow. Look at that. <laughs> nice, buddy. That's a hog. Right through the snout. Nice, buddy. What do you got in there? Scott TV, Bento Minnow. <laughs> oh, this feels like a better one. Ooh, another duck bladder. One on the bottom, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. A double header. Whoa! Oh, oh, Jesus, they gotta be biting the scotch catching them. Buddy, I'm just it's been non stop. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Yeah, one of the other. Oh, you, you. So many fish are down there. Probably is. Snag them. That's what my fish. Absolute ton of fish down there. Dog back! Adrenaline adventure won't be undone. There we go. Oh my god, Can't coming. have Jay catching all of them. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. That old boy. Get What's there, shiners. man? Get What's wrong dead. with that? It's like his arms are longer, and mine are bigger round. <laughs> <laughs> that's my. That's a nice one. That's nice what I'm talking shot. about. Did you get him up high? Uh, bottom and over. Bottom. Uh, in the column. Oh, the big one oh uh, no, buddy, at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Nice fish, guy. Look at that one, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels nice to have one like that. Hey, look at that bad boy. <laughs> nice. Pull that up nice. Look at that one, man. Good work, buddy. Awesome. Now, you see the color of my sinker? You have the color of my sinker? Oh, yeah, nice, man. Nice fishing, bud. This is where I learned about these uh, chartreuse and sinker. The yeah, frickin' yeah. perch were attracted to the sinkers, okay? Yeah. And then I check the, the bait, and then they look up and they see the bait, and then they go after the bait. Nice, good thinking. Hey, first wizard right there. <laughs> Water temperature, there's a crayfish moving. Gotta watch his rope, buddy. His rope.
Let's go, folks. Bento minnow, rubber bait. Look how far he had that down. Nice. All right, boys, you going, you going with Jay? You going to fish with Jay? You going to be smashing him? We're going to be smashing him. <laughs> oh, boy, Griffey ain't going to be happy. Oh, no, trust me. My, and they love perch fishing. Yeah. I'm going to have to bring my boys one of these times, Jay. The other one. Look at that. Huh? No, Mr. Jimmy. What happened? Oh man, look oh, at that hog! Hey. Adrenaline adventure. Nice, folks. nice. Look how deep he took that. Look at that one, boy. Look how deep he took that. Look at that. There you go, Keeson. Yep. Yeah. Another double header. Oh, he's a good size one. Oh no, another double header. There goes. Bottom one's a keeper. It's like three double headers in a row. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> well, if he's if he's oh I spun him around, I think I might have stayed, but he's on the bench though. Angler, man. I know where your guys' numbers come now in that boat. I know where they come from. That's a good size one. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh! Nice, my man. Bento minnow. <laughs> Taking out the drag. I'm trying to get Scotty to change that spreader. That's not going to happen. No. Uh oh. Well, Phil's got something there. Shoot him up. Look at that triple header. That's how they're, that's how they're biting in Lake Simcoe. All morning, nonstop. I was only, I got to the point where I was catching so many fish. I just used uh, one hook to bait. Jay had a big pike on. As soon as uh, that happened, all the first scattered, man. Everyone's left on a banker. We're spotting no fish. So we're either going to hopefully come back or we're going to move. Okay, we got to actually do a count on our live and see how we're doing. We don't want to go over, but we've been catching a ton of them. We moved spots the second time around. And we were catching a ton of small ones. We weren't catching any real keepers. So we moved and, uh, man, now it's all keepers and no small ones. So Phil's, let's see here. Phil's counting them up. This is our stash so far. A lot of nice fish in there. Look at that. Some good eat. And now we're catching nothing but this. Okay. See the tail, Scotty. Look at that bad boy. Good job, buddy. So good job. My GoPro died, so I haven't been getting a lot of actual action, but man, it's been non-stop fishing like this since we moved spots. And we're nearing our limits, so we're being selective. And uh, perch wizards. <laughs> if you haven't checked them out on YouTube, you got a small channel. My buddies uh, are starting to create their own YouTube channel. And if you want to see buddy catch perch, this is a uh, place to check out. Lake Simcoe, big perch. All right, we got our limit. We're out of here. It's time to get back, clean them, have a beer, get ready for some dinner. Big perch in there, Scott. Yeah, I mean, big. Look at the size of this thing. It's the size of my foot. Look, the size of my foot. 
That was unreal, man. Got one of the rubber that, was, that was a day. Oh. Okay, now the work begins. We got eight guys. We all got our limits. It's 400 perch. And then we're going to clean them. We're going to have a fish fry tonight, have some beers, get a campfire going. And I'm going to film it while all these guys do all the work. Bucket, where we uh, the pot in? Oh, I think Jeff went together. Yeah. Put on. Okay. Somebody grab some uh, police, put them on there. Yep. Right. What's going on here, man? You might have a bad ringer here, boys. That's okay. I got seven more knives. You need a scrap oh, right here. Yeah, right here. Come on, oh, how, on, how, man. Many, how many how many did I clean on that knife though? Keep going. These things are sharp right. as hell. Keep going. I right. can't, my hand's all cramped. <laughs> <laughs> 396 more. Alright. Let's see how let's see how Phil Uncle Phil's yeah. doing. I feel how warm that blade is, Scotty. Yeah. Okay, you go up. feel Jeff Richards, it's really cold. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. This one here did not come out of our bag. I like doing the bigger ones. Sorry, but it did not. We did not do that. It's so small for you. This one. This one here. Oh, I must have jumped in that. Very quick. Very quick. Very quick. Very quick. Up. Now, last time I made a video with Jay, he doesn't say anything, right? Did he tell you that? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we weren't catching any fish, bro. He doesn't. Oh, yeah. yeah, you keep that going. Right. Long yep. arms. Like there long you arms. go. Long arms. It looks bigger. That's, that that's thing, nice. Eh? That's, that's a, a slob. Tank, Big old slob. That's a tank. He doesn't know when he's going to get us the next meal or something. He's got his name in days. <laughs> He's a growing boy. Oh my god. That's what it's like when you go away all the time. He's got a good place to hunt, Scotty. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you tell me if Jared did them all, we'd have twice as much meat, Jay? <laughs> I know you're doing four in a minute, but would we have just as much meat? With... There you go. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's not the quantity, it's the quality. Probably two sets of blades next year because it's <laughs> probably less probably less bones too. The smartest thing you guys can do is buy me two sets of the blades. <laughs> we're in the middle of cleaning our fish, and I thought I'd take a minute and show you kind of what we were doing today. Basically, Lake Simcoe perch fishing. Um, you can use minnows, which I was doing today, and I don't have a problem with uh, baiting a hook with minnows. But Jay's a hardcore perch fisherman, and he likes using uh, some actual uh, artificial lures, and I'll show you kind of what he was using. In uh, case you uh, want to get out here and do some perch fishing in Lake Simcoe, and you don't want to use minnows, here's some options. I'll go over and let Jay explain to you what uh, we were using today. Okay, so what we do is we drop shot for the perch out there. We do use minnows, and uh, Scott did very well. It was a heavy minnow bite today, and the minnows outfished the rubber bait, but not by much. <laughs> and uh, what we have is our drop shot gear here. We use a number four VMC hook. It's a spin shot hook for drop shotting. You buy them at Crappy Tire. And uh, what we do is we tie in a lead here. This is a fluorocarbon line, 12 pound test. And then uh, we run that right to the braided line. The most important thing about drop shotting is the uh, fishing rod. And this is a new Fenwick HMG I just picked up. Seven foot six, medium, extra fast. And what you're, uh, the biggest thing is the tip, tip of the rod, okay? The soft tip rod. I'll show you right here. You see the tip of the rod. It's very, see very here. soft tip. I'm gonna pull up. Right. There you go. There we go. Okay. So it's a tip rod. Seven, seven foot six, medium, extra fast, which means it's extra soft tip rod. And uh, I'm all hung up here, Scotty. No okay. Worries, buddy. There we go. So I got two VMC hooks here. <laughs> the geese are, the geese are <laughs> hilarious around. Got two VMC hooks here, and we put our minnow baits on. We use tubes. We use various baits here. Uh, a lot of these baits I pick up online. These are uh, called uh, finesse minnows. Small finesse minnows at blue ice. Crappy tubes, inch and a half to two inch crappy tubes uh, we use. And the big shooter today was uh, Lunker Hunt. 
Uh, bento bait. Bento bait. Film a little closer to the camera, so everybody. Okay. There we go. Yeah, bento bait. Bento bait. Jay yeah. likes to repeat what he's using, and I heard the term bento a lot today. It was a bento minnow beatdown, is what it was, <laughs> and we were getting some slobs, big slob yellow bellies. There we go. This is uh, a parrot. I think this one's called parrot. Oh, there we go. Uh, we got perch colored. They don't give them away. They're about 10, 11 bucks a pack. You only get six, but they have a holographic uh, thing inside of them. They're real good baits to use. Yeah. Them. Perch are on them. They're slamming them. Basically, what we do is we just cast it out. Windy day, we use a little bit heavier sinker than what I have on right now. And we drag it, and we just uh, shake it and try to keep it in the same spot. You just watch your rod tip like that. Boom. There you go, okay? man. And then you, you set the hook on them. Now, how do you have that set up on the line? Because you don't have, it's not like a leader. It's literally tied in line, right? Yeah. Let me hold that So closer. show that closer to the camera. Yeah. A little bit right there. So you see, yeah. There it's we a fluorocarbon line, and okay. it's a spin shot. Number oh, I see. Number four BMC yeah, yeah. spin shot. And a lot of a lot of times today was crazy minnow bite, bite, but a lot of times it's not. And a big perch, uh, we'll say a big perch, 12-inch jumbo perch, will eat six to eight minnows about that size. And then he's done. People think yeah. they eat nonstop all day long, and they don't. So uh, what we do with with the drop shot rigs is put anything that comes in to the purchase strike zone, he'll kill it. He'll kill it. Doesn't matter if he's done feeding, it's fine. If it's in a strike zone, he's going to kill it. So again, we're watching that rod tip, and you're in a strike zone. The second he hits it like that, you yeah. set the hook. He's in a live well. Thanks, buddy. As you see in the picture. Now, we what's the spacings, buddy? Jay, t explain the spacings you have from the sinker right to because it looks like the the one the one uh, lure is well, we pretty just, close to the bottom, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so we just space them out like you would do like a normal pickerel rig for yeah. a perch fishing, and everyone knows a perch like the bottom too, yeah. right? They like feeding off the bottom, so we keep one one of the BMC hooks close yeah. to the bottom, and we got one up higher, and then we do. Uh, is that about eighteen inches? Yeah, yeah okay. about 18 inches. We'll use various colors and whatnot. Right. And uh, sometimes, but they were hitting heavy minnow bait today, and they were hitting these real hard. Nice. There you go, buddy. Just a lot of tubes and a lot of minnows. Nice. Okay, and the most important thing about drop shotting is the profile of the bait. They're either hitting short, fat baits, like these ones, or they're hitting long, skinny baits. We caught nothing on these yesterday. And we were tearing them up on the short fat baits. So once you once you dial in on the profile that those fish want, then you dial in on the color. Okay, the color comes after. It's profile first, and uh, we really beat them up on these today. Like I said, it was a heavy minnow bait. We hate using minnows because they're a pain <laughs> put on. But Scotty did catch some real nice fish today on the minnows. I'm not gonna lie. But I could have caught Probably him. Probably the biggest fish of the day. Yep. I mean, yeah, yeah. Not, He's not, not bragging, bragging, but, he not bragging got, but... Not bragging, but he got the biggest slob of the day. He was pushing 14-inch perch. It was a beautiful fish. And, um, well, that's pretty much it. You just buy the various baits and whatever appeals to you, right? That's it. I think it gives people the option instead of using minnows. If you can't find minnows or you just don't like the using minnows... minnows are getting hard, uh, they're getting hard to come yeah. by, right? And, and, it, and it's a... When well, you're fishing all day putting minnows on and baiting hooks and stuff it does get old after a while yeah. you get you know? the perch hands yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And my yeah. buddy jay's caught a lot of perch in his day so yeah. he really does know what he's talking about i don't know anybody who's caught more perch than this guy right well, here we had a good day we had uh, eight guys yep and uh, we all took home our limit i'm not that good at math but that's uh, 400 perch yeah, that's right man. so that's... you know they're not all giant perch but uh, it was a good day and everybody caught a lot it had a lot of fun so we had a big old perch fry What's that flower right. you have on? It's time for dinner. Oh, buddy, it's painful, it's painful, eh? Jared's done all the work. Hey, Jared, you were crushing that. You were crushing those uh, perch fillets, buddy. I thought you were going to bat him. Hey, Jared's quiet, though. He doesn't want to talk on camera. I haven't seen you feel like that in a while. He doesn't realize it, but he's going to be in the video. It happens. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's smiling, but he is. All right, buddy. Way to go, my man. <laughs> I know you're working, Jared. I know. On the table. I know, buddy. I could have sworn I... My buddy, Jay. He's in supervisor mode now. Yeah, on the table. Oh, man, that's going to be good. There you go. And the fish catcher. Nice. The cleaner. There we go. Hey, guys, there's their barbecue bully. A bar okay. That's what you call him, eh? The barbecue bully. He barbecue doesn't seem like a bully, bully to me. Buddy, I know you are. Tell me what about the oil. 
you make sure it gets to about 350. 350? Don't get it over. Don't get it under before you drop yeah. food. Because what happens if it's if it's not hot enough, the, the batter, tell me about the batter. The oil will soak into the fish and the fish will be oily. Right. So all about frying is if the oil is hot enough, it crisps the outside and the actual, whatever you fry will actually steams. It's not the oil cooking it, it's the internal temperature, it steams. Oh, right, yeah, and, that makes uh, sense. So the, the food, you don't want the food to absorb that oil because then it just comes greasy. Right, right. So you don't want to over temp it because then it just flash fries it and right. it becomes burnt. Right, right. And so you keep it around 350, 325 all the time. Yeah. And when you take a thing of fish out, just make sure the temp's backed up to 350. Before you put Anytime some Anytime you put it. fish in there or anything cold in there, frozen french fries, frozen onion rings, yeah. it'll bring the temperature down. That so makes you, sense. You turn the fryer back up, and then you turn it back down when it's almost done so that it never gets above 375. Okay. Anything above that, your oil gets burnt because yeah. every all the oil has a, uh, a burn point to it. Right. I use canola because it's about... 400 to 410 burning point yeah vegetables about 385 if you can afford peanut oil which is like <laughs> point of that thing that's about 70 dollars for one of the, for about 16 oh, come on. of peanut oil is it really the peanut oil is the best thing to fry in but really? you can expensive. afford it yeah buy it but canola oil is uh, the best for frying foods all right buddy well, we're getting it close to temp. Make sure you have a I'm looking forward to eating some more. Always have a thermometer because you never know. People uh, will grab water and yeah. they'll go like this. Oh, no, you can't do that, but right? But you don't know because it'll do this Splash at 250. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, buddy. Perch wizards. The perch wizards. The perch wizards are all stuffed. That's all he did. Wait a second. Where's the Jimmy? <laughs> Wilbur, Wilbur, Mr. Ed, I knew it.